Hey, what's up guys? Um, so today I'm doing a little unboxing video. I know some of you guys uh, are pretty happy about them. So, um, this one came from sportstop.com. It's a pretty big box. As uh, you guys can see, it takes up the whole damn screen. Um, took the liberty of already opening it just to make it a little quicker. So, inside, let's see, I have the 2012 Sport Stop Gear Guide. My invoice, you know, just paperwork. And then, the big surprise is right here. My name is Light Matches. So, peel the plastic off here. And as you can tell, it is the Nemi Light. There's the Nemesis. And that's where it says Light. Um, what makes it light is just like the Nas and um, I believe the, any of the super lights from the Brine. Um, it has the Nas technology in it. So it makes it a lot lighter. Um, as I said before, pretty much I love the Nemesis head. Um, the only thing is, I didn't like the weight originally. They, um, with this new Nemi light, they dramatically lowered the uh, the weight by, I think about two ounces. So it's actually lighter than the Eclipse now. So. Um, some of you guys that used to just love the Eclipse, you might want to think about getting one of these. Um, they're really amazing. Um, pretty easy to string. As you see, there's tons of holes. Um, and then as soon as I get my stuff from uh, Ninjalax, um, I will be probably doing the tutorial on this head just because I'm going to zip through the pattern that I already have on my other Nemesis just so I could put the exact same stringing into this. All the holes are the, exactly the same so if you own a Nemesis, any of the patterns you loved from your Nemesis just slap them on your Nemi light. There's not really any difference. And with this head, um, unfortunately Sport Stop didn't include the ball stop that usually comes with Warrior Heads so, you guys get a nice view. Um, there it is. See that little space there? It looks about the size of a staple. That is where they actually inject the, uh, the gas during the molding process. Um, that's the only port I've seen so far. So, um, it could be... Um, could be just that spot. Um, yeah, that's about it as far as where I see the holes. Otherwise, this looks like a really strong, well put together spot or uh, well put together head. Um, looks like during the joining process, um, these four holes down here actually, there's like an outline right here. That shows where this piece was joined on. So they must have clipped on some kind of gas uh, injector right here. Formed all this up to probably the scoop. Like right to about here. Because it appears... Oh no. The old Nemesis used to have a... Um, oh there it is. Yeah. Where they joined the scoop to the sidewalls. Um, you can tell right there that it's like a couple piece molding process and uh, altogether I'm pretty excited over this um, can't wait to string it but like I said gotta wait until um, you know I get my stringing supplies so and then because of the ball stop issue you gotta play with the ball stop so I got a little generic one I'm just gonna cut it fit slap it on there Call it a day. Um, 
that's about all I can really do with it right now. Can't really string it up and play with it outside or anything like that because it's not stringing up. But um, let me know what you think. If you guys want to uh, have me do the, the tutorial on there, then you'll know exactly what I did in the other one. Um, and actually, now that some people are talking about interlocks and all that stuff in videos, I realized that that video or that stick, my um, beauty, some of what I used to think was interlocks are actually just singles and doubles and triples and whatever the hell else you want to call them. And, uh, yeah. Although it's still anchored, I don't think I really interlocked at all. Like, you know how the mesh actually ends up in the knot? There's none of those on that head, which makes it look a lot cleaner. But the mesh is still anchored by how I did it. There, I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, that mesh right here, that's pretty much how I did all of them. I just went through the hole, came out and around it, and that mesh isn't going anywhere. Even though it's not technically in the loop that I created, it's still not going anywhere. So technically it's a single, but it's still locked into place. So um, I'll go over how I did it. Um, in a tutorial if you guys are interested otherwise I won't bother boring you with it and uh, I know you guys wanted a tutorial so I figured I have the head uh, why not because I have a couple customer eclipses that I have to uh, fix because it wasn't quite to what they wanted it was but it wasn't like they got it home they're really excited went to throw with it and it just didn't fit their throwing style so I gotta fix that up a little bit um, so they wanted you know a smaller mesh instead of the 20 they're going 17 so it's a smaller pocket um but uh, i know you guys wanted to see a 12 diamond so um i'm getting a women's goalie head too um it's still the same goalie head as a men's so the only thing is i think there's different pocket regulations so i can still do a tutorial on what i do but it's going to be for a girl's pocket not you know a guy's deep bag that sits down like this far from the head as observed here this thing's a beast so um yeah so I'll be getting this thing ready my new Nemi light but right now it's just a necklace so uh, oh well Flavor Flav's clock ain't got shit on my nemesis so Oh well. Um, otherwise, peace out.